Hi and welcome to the long-awaited video about how to set up the 6 bolts vibrate of the Stratocaster. Today we will learn how to set up the base plate of the 6 bolts version of the Stratocaster Vibrato. Then, by linking to the other video that I made, uh, which you will find the link in the description box, you will be able to perfectly complete the setup and get the best possible performance uh, for what concerns the movement, the tuning and whatever out of your, your Stratocaster uh, Vibrato. So the very first thing that we have to consider when we approach the setup of the tremolo of the Stratocaster, the Vibrato of the Stratocaster, the correct name is Vibrato, is uh, if we, w which kind of movement of the bridge we need. If we, do we need just a fixed bridge, this way, so fixed on the top here, with no tremolo arm, so we don't use the bridge. Will we need uh, a tremolo that the, of the tremolo arm just to go downward, and when you release this one, it will you know, lay on the top of the guitar, or will we need both downward and upward movement? We have to forecast this from, from the very, very, very beginning of a setup, because um, if we want the uh, tremolo to have both downward and upward movement, the setting of the, of the tremolo plate, as we will see, that is raised on the top here, you see here, will have an influence on the height of the strings uh, on the next side here, okay. So on the action, so we want to, you know, forecast this since the beginning because we don't want to set the whole guitar and then discover that we want the, the tremolo floating in both ways and the tremolo rising the tremolo we rise again the action and we have to do everything from the beginning. So if we want to use the Stratocaster vibrator as a fixed bridge, we will just have to, you know, increase the tension of the two springs on the back here or free whatever you when, uh, whatever you have, and uh, so that the when the guitar is in tune, the bass plate is uh, you know laying perfectly laying on the guitar top, okay, both on this side on this and on this other side. So if you notice that there is a space here, you just you know uh, screw a little bit the two outer screws here, so that the bass plate is perfectly laying on the uh, guitar top. If we want to use the vibrate with just the downward movement, so from the rest position laid on the top, down, like this. We will have to do the same thing that I mentioned before, but if we want to have a floating upward and downward movement of the vibrato, we will have to set it up in a different way, and this is, you know, the subject of this video. The Stratocaster is an amazing instrument. It's just like a uh, uh, an object that comes from the future, most of the functions and the functionality of the Stratocaster has not yet been understood and I'm trying to explain them in my, in my videos. The Stratocaster is perfectly able to keep the tuning if we just know how to adjust uh, the bridge and we, I'm going to show you uh, a way to do that in the, in the case of a 6 series bridge and uh, it's perfectly able to keep the tuning even even under the most incredible stress you just need to have it set up the, the, the correct way let, let me show you this to you this to you this is a knee and you can stress the bridge just like the most dive bombing you can and it's, it's tick, still, still keeps the tuning perfectly look at the um, the tremolo arm Is perfectly able to, you know, um, float just like a two pilots bridge. First, you are probably asking yourself, how much do I have to rise the Stratocaster vibrator here in order to get the correct amount of downward and upward movement? But this is very simple. You go to the other video that I made where I explain uh, the two pilots um, setup of the vibrator of the Stratocaster, and you will get everything. But basically, you have to use some office paper and put it. Uh, just like this and then follow the procedure, the, the, the setup that I explained in the other video. Another very important thing that we have to understand since the beginning of a setup is, is if the tremolo uh, arm and the, and the vibrato functionality is working correctly. So, and we, we do that by simply moving the bridge from the position where it lays on the top uh, to the position where the tip of the tremolo arm touches or almost touches the um, the pig guard and check for any kind of strange noise 
but it does. If you hear some strange noise, maybe everything, including the springs on the back or some parts of the, even some parts of the um, sustain block touching a part of the rotting of the, of the, of the tremolo uh, springs cavity, or even the nut. Maybe you, you take a pencil and uh, you know you put some uh, um, graphite of a pencil into the nut slots. Most of the time, this is enough to get you know uh, rid of that. Now you don't need that much tools to do this. You just need uh, basically uh, a screwdriver. But the very 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 important thing is that these uh, screws or the vibrator, of these screws that you see here, are pretty delicate. So uh, you need, uh, uh, and I strongly recommend this, you need a, a screwdriver that perfectly fits the, um, the, the screw, the bolt, okay? So how do you know if the, uh, if the screwdriver perfectly fits the bolt? Very simple, you put the, the, the screwdriver inside in the, in the bolt, and if it moves in some way, like this one, it's not the correct one. So, this is not the correct screwdrivers because you see that it moves inside the bolt. Let's try this other one. This one is perfect. This one perfectly matches the hole of the bolt. So this, let's just use this one because these are kind of delicate screws and bolts. So you don't want you know, to ruin them, to wear, wear them out. Another thing that we have to pay care of when we go and setting up a tremolo of a Stratocaster in a floating performance is that uh, the base plate doesn't touch the pig guard. You know, that's here. There is a one, one millimeter and a half. You know, this is pretty common with the two pivots, uh, strat bridges when um, there are, you know, Stratocaster um, bodies made in very soft wood and they, you know, they bend. Uh, ahead, so uh, the, the base tra the base plate touches the piggers, and this you know um, prevents the tra correct uh, tremolo movement. So pay care of this. When it's time to proceed, and we have checked everything, so we know that nothing is preventing the vibrato uh, movement to you know to move freely. The first thing that we have to do is raise the four internal screws here, about you know something like two millimeters over the base plate, like this, for example. You have to move the, the strings uh, away a bit because the balls are right, uh, you know, dead uh, uh, under the, the strings. So you move them gently a bit like this and you rise the full internal skew. What is actually happening is that we are using the two outer balls, the one under the low E and the high E, uh, as some kind of two pivots, you know, and uh, we, we transform these six bolts uh, uh, vibrate in the two pivots vibrato. Once we have done that with the tremolo arm inserted, we will push the tremolo arm in so that the rear side of the vibrato base plate, so here, from here to here, is touching the guitar top. So here, but here as well, it's touching the guitar top. And we will um, act, act on the two outer bolts in order to rise them and get here in this point of the um, between the bass plate and the guitar top near to the pig guard about you know uh, half of a millimeter uh, of space so we you do this by simply inserting uh, again the the sheet driver and the rise you know this way a bit the two balls till you see that you when you press the lever here, you got in this point you have about half of a millimeter. That uh, is going to translate in about one millimeter in this uh, portion here, in front portion, front uh, part of the base plate. What I'm going to tell you now uh, is something that I care a lot, and is, I know it's pretty advanced, but if you just follow me carefully and it's easy to understand, I will explain that in very easy words and you will get an amazing advantage uh, on what I'm going to say now for both uh, concern the, um, the performance of your guitar and the performance and the, the keeping the tuning of your vibrato. So just follow me. This is pretty advanced but just follow me, it's easy to understand. So I have a series of five videos where I explain to you, they are in this channel, where I explain that uh, to achieve the best 
tremolo performance possible, so the one that best keeps the tuning when you uh, have upward and downward movement, you have to reduce the most possible what, what are called the friction points. And the friction points, what are them? They are the point where the string comes out from the base plate once you have inserted that in the tremolo sustain block uh, on the rear back. And then the, the angle that it makes here on the saddle when it starts and runs through the whole neck through the nut and then the nut as well and then uh, the string trees which these are all friction points the most we reduce these friction points by reducing the angle the best our tremolo will perform and keep the tuning when we use it even if we dive bomb but it's a way which is again is a pretty advanced but uh, just follow me and it's very easy and will give you an amazing advantage on everything uh, about the working of your tremolo uh, to reduce this friction point as is that you once you have set up the tremolo to this point you just take the measurement of how how is you know is the height here with the caliper you know uh, and then what you do is uh, rise the two outer balls of the six screws uh, vibrato or in case you have two pivots you rise the two pivots uh, of the vibrato so the, the bridge plate rises a bit and you you know lower the saddles to the same amount of millimeters this will reduce here the eight and the angle here and will dramatically increase and uh, improve your uh, tuning and uh, uh, vibrato performance. This is a bonus trick. Once you have performed the pre-setup of the base plate of a tremolo this way, you will just have to um, lower the four internal balls to the same eight of the two outer ones this way by gently placing the string as a side and then we, when you have done that you just have to follow the instruction that I gave you on the previous video uh, how to set up the two pivots tremolo because the, 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 you know, the following part of the setup is exactly the, the same and will deliver you the, absolutely the best performance uh, of your Stratocaster vibrato, vibrato. So send me your comments, let me know if you need help uh, and uh, also please visit my donation page if you want to support me and my videos and the time that I spend doing them and if you appreciate what I'm you know, um, giving to you, the value I'm giving to you and also the value that you are sparing by not having, no longer having to uh, get a guitar doctor or run kilometers to go out and find a guitar doctor that's it's considered to uh, make a donation which will help me to give you more value and more videos. Ciao!